Today we are in Duman Dunes, out in the desert, and I thought it's a good time to do a tour video of my minivan camper build. It's a 2009 Dodge Grand Caravan, 3.8 liter, 6 speed, pretty cool. It's my third minivan, Dodge Grand Caravan, and I've been doing six months so far in this one starting with the uh, one of my favorite items uh, Snailax vented seat covers which do both venting and heating and it's been working great for more than a year just 50 bucks on Amazon the window insulation is from Home Depot cheap and easy the front window I have a uh, RV style snow cover which works perfect whenever I camp more than one day and there's my simulator safari's bed one of his beds my LED lighting which works fantastic takes no power my bed which is 75 by 25 inches which could be expanded to full-size bed if I needed to my microwave my fridge and uh, let's see the bed base which is basically plastic shelving which is really strong and light and easy to manage under the front there's a storage for my camera equipment and then there's a diesel heater outlet the diesel here works just fantastic it has thermostat control I have it set at 25 Celsius degrees which works fantastic it has a remote that I can adjust when I'm sleeping if I need to then uh, as exhaust the exhaust is under the car but whenever I camp for longer times I just attach extra piping so the fumes get further away from the car which is just a nice addition because if there's no wind the fumes can somehow get in the car so having a longer exhaust is great and uh, I have the diesel tank mounted behind my fridge and microwave and fresh water tank this is basically where the essential stuff sits speaking of electronics here's the solar panel and its wind shield solar panel is fixed with basic hardware from Home Depot super simple to the roof rails it's a 327 watt panel and uh, feeding 400 amp hours of lithium batteries that are sitting below the fridge next to the diesel heater I can also charge the lithium batteries with uh, my uh, breaker which I use as a switch and as long as uh, I watch the voltage not to go all over 13.8, the lithium batteries are fine from alternator charging. That's my thermometer inside and out. And let's make coffee. I got the, all the electronics in the first place when I just wanted to have a hot coffee whenever I stay at events. And so I started with one panel, one battery, and just keep upgrading. I do make my coffee in the microwave and it's an instant coffee. Let's look at the back meanwhile. I have basic Walmart storage for my clothing, for my stuff, and shower essentials, monoxide detector, camera stuff, and my dog's second bed. And uh, then there's some stuff storage just thrown in and here's vents for summer that will kick on whenever the temperature reaches over 25 celsius the, it feeds from the rear bumper the air is sucked in and it flows through the car very nicely and keeps it cool in the summer and the back insulation is a softer one meant for windshield there I have my additional gallon of diesel for the heater, just a backup. 
my phone holder for movies, watching while I'm on the road, my uh, Android head unit, which serves a lot of different purposes and can also play radio. Uh, here's Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy, who is speaking with Moy. Coffee is ready. It was used two cups, one for water, one for the coffee, then just mix together. Add some creamer, add some whipping cream, and it's done. So for fridge, I added an extra magnet that keeps it closed when driving. Uh, for the rear bed and the heater, the heater blows to the rear of the car because at the back gate there's like cold air coming in sometimes sneaking in so but it's the heater doesn't blow as fast and it comes out of the grill next to my bed so I usually just whenever I go to sleep I put my clothing on the grill on the shelving plastic shelving and in the morning my clothes are warm and also the heat goes more towards the end and the poly iso insulation from Home Depot on all the windows except the rear one because the rear is a bit more curved and uh, I couldn't fit the hard one also for front I have a easy deployable uh, sunshade and let me show you how I work whenever I work so I remove the trash bin I have and take out my laptop, remove my dog's bed, get a small table for my mouse, my keyboard, and I'm ready for whatever work I need to do. Very essential item is the tires, because right now I'm in the desert and I'd rather get it not get stuck. I have BF Goodrich tires which work fantastic on these kinds of roads or not roads. So that's about it. It's a quick tour of my minivan and we've been traveling for past six months in this setup. We've been in summer, winter, San Francisco, East Coast, West Coast and it's it's the perfect car to travel a little camper mobile good on gas has lots of power built in that i put in the solar panel sits on the roof just perfect and this is obviously a car for a single person you could make a full-size bed in the back as i had it before but it's really more of a single person camper. If you have any questions, just ask. And if you like this video, just click thumbs up. It's free in one click.